Good evening, it's Simon here. A um, couple of people in the um, the noobs group had requested um, some information on using some of the um, DEXs, um, sort of Uniswap, one inch, things like that. So um, I thought I'd just pull a little video together, um, starting with one inch, because um, it's one of my preferred um, exchanges um, and then in follow-up videos I'll cover Uniswap and maybe we'll dive into some of the other sort of platforms that are out there that will will be useful for your um, your trading so you know one inch is um, started as an ethereum based um, DEX although it's now also offering Binance smart chain um, DEX features, uh, which is a fairly recent event. So, um, so we'll dig right in and we'll have a quick sort of run through the, the sort of basic features of one inch. And then we can also go into more detail in another video if, if that's what people want, but we'll, we'll get, you know, I'll get you to a point where you can sort of trade quite happily and quite easily on one inch. Um, should you need to, um, the video, I, I will be using a ledger, um, and I'm also using MetaMask extension. Um, you can get MetaMask from, if you haven't got it, you can get the extension from um, the Google Chrome extension site. Um, fairly easy to install. Um, works on Chrome and Brave, if you use Brave as your browser. Um, when you install it, you should see it up in the, in the box here, in the extension box, uh, the little fox face. If it's not showing in there, just click on the little jigsaw puzzle find MetaMask in the list and then click the pin, which will pin it to the um, the extension bar. Okay, so once you've got that installed, um, it's a fairly straightforward process just to connect your ledger. I'll just log into mine. Okay, so mine's already connected, but if you haven't got yours connected, this will just show a software wallet Ethereum address that you've created when you set your uh, MetaMask up. Um, if you want to add your ledger, you click on the, um, I call it like the sun icon. It might be different on your computer, but it's that little circle there. And then you go down to connect hardware wallet. Select the hardware wallet that you have. It supports ledger or tracer, so ledger. You'll notice some little sort of helpful tips here. So make sure your, your, your ledger is connected via a cable directly to your computer. Um, when you click the connect button, it'll bring up a list of um, Ethereum accounts that you've got on your ledger. And then you click connect and it will all connect up. Um, it can be a little bit flaky, but don't panic. Sometimes a refresh is all you need to do. Um, or if you get really stuck, just sort of hit, hit me up on the noobs group and I'll see what I can do to help you. Um, but it's fairly straightforward. So once you're connected, you'll, um, you'll see that you'll have ledger here and then your, your ledger assets will show on, on, on your MetaMask, All right? It's not mandatory for trading on, um, or one inch, but it can be quite helpful. It's especially helpful if you're trading on a token that isn't supported by Ledger or Ledger Live, should I say. Um, so you can actually do a trade and then wonder where the hell your tokens are. Now, obviously, you can check on Etherscan that they're there, but if you can add them into Meta, MetaMask, is quite good for adding in sort of custom tokens. And I can run through that with people if you want to. Um, but it's a fairly straightforward process. You go to add token, go to custom tokens. And if you get the token contract address from somewhere like CoinGecko, um, it's normally on, if you if you search for, for a token on CoinGecko and the list, it's at the very top. Um, cut and paste the token contract address and type in the token symbol. It will normally fill that in for you based on the contract address. Click next and then just click add token and then it will appear in your list. So it's fairly straightforward. I know some people when they were buying, I think it was Cover or Armor, Armor. Um, it's not something that Ledger supports at the moment, or at least it didn't at the time. Um, and they were wondering where their tokens were. Well, the, the reality is that they're on the blockchain. You just haven't got a way of seeing them. So you can add the custom tokens into here. Um, and then you'll see them reflected in your MetaMask 
which on your ledger is connected. So it's a, a representation of what's connected through your ledger. Right, so we've got that set up, we're all good to go. So this is one inch and it's one inch dot exchange is the URL. Um, nice little helpful blue bar at the top just to make sure you are on the right one. Just worth checking the exchange, and, yeah, that's the right URL before you continue. First thing to do is we'll just connect our wallet. Um, I'm logged in, so I'm gonna connect my ledger. Yeah, so we're connected now. Up here you've got the network, you can select either Ethereum or Binance. So if you're doing Binance uh, chain, uh, smart chain tokens, you can you can swap to Binance, you just click that and it changes the network. We'll stick with Ethereum for the time being. So there we are, we're on the Ethereum um, network. So um, here's the box, it's your, it's your trading box, if you will, your swapping box. You can do limit orders of one inch. I can go through that in, in another video if people want to do it. But for now, we'll do market, sort of a market type buy. I'm not actually going to buy anything today, so uh, but I'll give you enough to get going um, and do it yourself. In the top is what you're swapping from. So we're, we've got Ethereum in here, but you can change by clicking the, the little down arrow to um, all the different tokens. That are supported um, on one inch so we'll, we'll leave it with, with ethereum for the time being and then you receive is the, the token you're swapping to and again you can um you can you can pick one um, or whatever you want to buy if you say you want to buy sushi so let's let's go with sushi for now um so um on this side, you normally get a chart. It's just loading at the minute. Um, and then you get the routing. So currently, this is routing um, through Wrapped ETH, through Sushi, um, through the Uniswap V2 router. Um, and in this box, you're getting the exchanges. So bear in mind, one inch is a DEX aggregator. So it always tries to find you the most efficient route to do your swap. Um, efficient in terms of speed and also cost. Um, so if we've got up here, we've got 0 0.1 of an Ethereum, which relates to 9.8 Sushi, and you get the rates here and the inverse rates. Um, and the estimated fee, um, which is your gas cost. And I know everyone balks at that, but you know, it is a necessary evil. It's a game we're in, I guess. It, it, it's annoying and it's, Equally more annoying when you've um, been used to lower gas costs on sort of Binance Smart Chain or, or, or Terra. Um, but you know what, it, it is what it is. So we've got to be, you know, we can, you can wait until gas sort of settles itself out as it does naturally during the day. I've got the little gas now extension up here, which gives you a real time view of the current um, gas prices. And they do fluctuate over the course of a day. So, I mean, if you're not, desperate to do a trade at the, the, the gas price it's at and happy to wait till it falls then you can always do that you go on the gasnow.org website gives you a kind of kind of a guess it gives you a table of when when it's more expensive uh, and when it gets cheaper so you can always sort of structure your trades around that if you want to go that route then we've got the exchanges and like i said it is an aggregator so we'll try and find the best route um, and the best gas fee so if you can see that the, the, the fees can sort of $56 um, Uniswap is a match well it will be because it is going through the Uniswap router um, Sushi swap um, slightly less you're getting for your, for your money um, similar gas costs and again you just sort of go through these you might find some look like you're returning more like getting more token back but actually the gas fees are significantly higher um i'm not aware i've never seen sake swap before but hey how you live and learn every day um balancer will be expensive yeah 83 dollars so it tries to find you the best um the best rate um, and the best route and the most efficient route so obviously one inch it doesn't always it's not always one inch is the best route and it, it, it does change depending on what it finds but we'll go with that one the one inch route 
tells you what it's going to route through. Um, you can also refresh on the rates here as well if you want to just sort of get an up-to-date rate. And again, one inch is, is still good. So what we're going to do now, what you would do at this point is you, you'd hit the swap token. Um, I'll cancel this transaction. I won't go through with it. It comes up. Um, you're going to swap 0.1 ETH for 9.83 um, sushi. So if you want to go ahead and do it, you hit the confirm swap. You'll then get a box pop up um, on the middle of the screen saying the transaction has been submitted and you can view that on Etherscan, which is, um, you know, you can just watch and wait for the transaction to go through. Once that's complete, what you'll find up here as well, um, where your wallet address is when the transaction's in flow, um, it will come up as a pending transaction. So if you do sort of click off that dialog box window that comes up on the screen, don't panic. You can get to Etherscan from here, and it will just sit there and refresh until the, the transaction's been completed. And then once it's complete, you can either pop into your Ledger Live if it's a token that's um, that's supported by Ledger Live, and you'll see your tokens in there. Or if it's not, and you've connected your MetaMask, um, you can you can view it in your MetaMask. Um, and if it's not there, you can go through and add a custom token, as I explained earlier. Um, so that's that. That's a really simple trade on one inch. Um, there are some other some other functions. Um, you can add a custom token. If there's a token that you want to trade that maybe isn't in that list, um, you can you can add the token address in manually. Just be careful. Make sure you know it is the right custom address and the right token address. Otherwise, you'll end up buying well, basically thin air. So um, just be very careful around that one. Um, and then there's some settings here. You can set, set your slippage accordingly um, and also your gas prices which you may want to play around with those it really depends on how confident you're feeling or how flush you're feeling I guess um, you know at the moment um, you know, it really depends on, on how keen you are to perform the transaction um, I, I generally leave it as it is or just wait until you know I, I find the gas is at a reasonable price on gas now um, slippage might be important to you though again very similar to the way sort of lunar operates you can sort of set set your slippage tolerance or you can put a custom figure in there um, it defaults to three percent but you can move it to one percent if you wish um, then there's lots and lots of charts and you can take the routing out or you can to take the um the comparison table out so you can you can play around with the view and the interface and then all your liquidity sources are here um i would leave them um i'd leave them as they are because it then it then goes out to the whole of market basically and tries to find you the best deal but i mean if you're particularly anti a liquidity source you can always take it out or not route through it uh, and a balancer can be very expensive um so maybe you want to remove balancer it's it's entirely up to you but they're there if you want to take them out you just click on them and they go um they go a different color um i'll just close that so that's the basics of um of one inch um there are some other elements that you we can look at maybe in another another video and that's the chai gas token it can save you some gas it's a bit out of the reach of this video really because it is a bit more in depth and uh, but i'm happy to go through that with you if um if that's what you need um but yeah that's one inch it's really simple very very easy to use um like i said you do now have the uh, the ability to use binance tokens or anything that's on the binance smart chain which might be useful for those that um, you know maybe holding bsc tokens so um and, and want to do a trade without actually doing it on the exchange as such um so yeah that's, that's the option but yeah it's a good it's a good tool um aside from the gas prices but you know 
we can talk about them to death, but they're not changing at the moment. So, um, but if you do want to buy Ethereum based tokens and you don't want to do it on a traditional centralized exchange, and this is a, a good route to do it. So, um, you know, any questions then, you know, far, far away, uh, far, I can't get my words out tonight, far away in the noobs room or, or send me a message. I think my emails or I'm on telegram. You can, you can hit me up on there and I'll, I'll happily talk you through it. But that's really one inch in a nutshell. Um, they're very simple, very efficient little decks. Um, it's really good. So I'll, uh, I'll call it a day there and, uh, speak to you all soon.